And um, I, I think that's probably the most important thing that, that's ever happened to me is her and just the things that she said along the way and listening to her and the way it's shaped my life and changed my life yeah. in a great way um, is has been very powerful. And um, and then my buddy, Pep Jackson, who just passed away a few years ago, he's a legend. Um, he was a legend in our faith. And he's, I remember he said, the best thing you can give people is your friends. And I was always like, that's the advice he would say, give, give people, the best thing you can give people is your friends. And I was always like, wow, that's so special because I think about the relationships that, the connecting relationships I've had and, 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 inter, and introducing people with, my, with friendships and, and how, what, how friendship at the end of the day, and you know this and people know this, at the end of the day, it is all about relationship. All this other stuff is all about the people yep. around us. At the end of the day, who do you got? Who do you got? You know, yeah. when it's all said and done, it's going to be those people and you're right there, those, 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 your family, your, your, your mate, your children, your friends. At the end of the day, that's what it's about. And yep. um, I'm always trying to remember that, that nothing is more important than. He'll probably say Jesus. Those close around me, the relationships around me. Yep. Gosh, that's oh. so good. Our whole thing at LO, Live Original, that's behind me, our whole thing is to be a good sister and a friend to those who don't have one. And um, so we are all about sisterhood, friendship, community, because you're so right. At the end of the day, that is what matters. It's your people. It's the people you do life with. And man, last night we um, had a long day at uh, work. We are getting ready for a conference next week, so we've been staying up super late, but it was one of our friend's birthdays. So we're like, all right, we got to go celebrate it. It was so funny because all of our friends are all like kind of young, married. Uh, I have my daughter with us, and we were. it was supposed to be a surprise party, but we didn't think about the fact that we all parked in the front. And and we were all hiding as if he didn't know we were all there, but we parked in the front. And it was so funny watching him, we're like, surprise. He's like, I saw y'all's cars. But it was so funny. And it was just, <laughs> it was just so great. But it's like those people, we, the, the group that was there last night, we meet every Wednesday night and we just, we just talk about the real stuff. And it's like, you know, those things, you just, uh, those are the things that matter. Those are your people. Those are the, those are the things that make life good. You know, it's just the people around you. And yeah, life is hard. Sometimes there are hard moments in that, but that's just like the sweetness um, that God. Yeah. Allowed. Oh yeah. God, I almost forgot about him allowed us to have with, with friendship and people around us. I love your advice of listen to your wife. That's a well, that's a good moment. Um, so a, a lot of people that listen to this podcast are in their 20s, you know, college students or younger 20s, young moms. And so these are the people that love The Bachelor, okay? The Bachelorette. This is like, the, this is these types of people. And I okay. have, I've heard that the way that you proposed to Lauren was pretty epic. So I think we should end on this story uh, because I was like, when I heard this, I was like, dang, that is good. And Lauren deserves all of it. So you got to tell the story. Well, when I proposed to Lauren, so I had this idea that um, I'd heard about this place down in, in Antigua, Guatemala, in um, this beautiful old, um, this kind of, a, it was an old monastery that's turned into a hotel at the side of the cliff, this beautiful place. And I'd never been there, but I'd seen pictures of it, and I'd, and I'd, and I'd seen like what they had done, like somebody talked about, um, they'd seen a proposal there, and how beautiful they made this place. And so, they had an old, like a, I don't know, it was maybe an old wine cellar, and it was turned into this this room that had a dining room. And I knew that this would be really special. And, and so um, I thought this would be a great place. How do I, how do I convince Lauren to go there? And, and, and like, how do we get there? And I said, so I told, cause she, she goes, we've never done a trip. I got a trip like that <laughs> dating. And so she thinks something's up. So I was like, okay, um, here's the deal. I said, um, I said, guess what? You know, interesting, Lauren, the, the, the president of Guatemala has contacted me <laughs> and, and, uh, and I said, you know, they, this was, uh, they want my, um, I saw God of the city. They want this. Uh, they they want to do something for the nation, and they asked me if I would do the song, and it's like a really special thing. So they're, they're taking so they're, they they want to put me up at this really nice hotel, and like, would you come? I want to know if you want to come with me. And she's like, um, and, and she's like, well, is it? You know, is it really is it is somebody is it is it is it, is it a big deal? I was like, well, I mean, the president has asked me to come. And she, she goes, I got this sorority thing. You know, I'm supposed to be doing, and I, and uh, uh, I get with my sister. So I was like, oh yeah. I think it's a pretty big deal. I think you should do it. And she goes, well, um, she goes, I had this, it's a single, it was a big deal. I was supposed to do it Saturday. And I said, it's this Saturday with the president. She goes, well, this Saturday, I just, I can't. She goes, I just, I can't do it. I, I have to do this thing. And I was like, so I was like, okay. So I called her back the next day. I said, guess what? The president moved the thing to Monday. You're not going to believe this, but he moved the event to Monday. And, and, and um, she's like, really? I was like, yeah. And I, it's all going to work out it's Monday. She's like, okay, I'll go with you. So we get, we go down there. And so. I'm on the plane going to, we're going to Guatemala. And the funny thing is, I'm just remembering all this again, is that um, I'm going to, you know, obviously I'm going to propose, but she thinks we're going to meet the president. So she, as I so at this point, you probably think they're going to tie both of those together. Like, you know, he's going to propose and then she's going to meet, you know, this president. So that's why I said, you got to have a nice dress. <laughs> you got to do all this thing. And I was trying to remember his name and I was like working on the Spanish. I was like, this is how we, this is what, how we introduce ourselves and all this kind of thing. So bring something nice. And she said that. And, and so on the plane, no lie, are these two youth groups 
and they're on the same plane and they're like, Chris Tomlin. I was like, hey, yeah. He goes, um, what are you going, what are you, what are you going to go? I'm offering it. Oh, no. Offer, so she's heard this story before and she's laughing. Well, well I'm doing this, uh, I'm doing this thing with the president. <laughs> so now I'm lying to the youth group saying, you know. Just like- so now I'm lying to the youth group. So now this whole story unfolds. Now we know he's just been lying this whole time. And obviously Sadie has heard this before, which is why she's laughing so much. I'm like, do this thing with the president of Guatemala. I'm doing this thing. And they're like, oh, we're coming. We're, we're, oh, we're no. Coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. And I was like, I was like, well, it's a private. It's interesting. It's a private event. I think it's a private event. And so I don't think he can come. They're like, well, we're going to look for it. And I was like, okay, be looking on the lookout for it. But I think it's private. So we get there. And we roll in, and I said, okay, so here's the event, and we're going to meet the president. It's behind these doors. And he, he and I was like, I think the event is through this room. And I had asked these guys, and they spoke very little English. Hey, I want this room set up really nice. And I, and because I'd seen a picture of what they did, it's like all rose petals, flowers wow. all over the floor. The whole thing is, the whole floor is flowers. Wow. And this beautiful, beautiful, old, ancient building. And there's one table in the middle, and with the candlelight kind of thing, and it's all flowers. I was like, all right. And so... They're standing there, and I love uh, the Guatemalan people. They're so sweet, and they're, and they're just the sweetest people. And these little, and they're they're tiny people. Like I, I felt tall there, which made which is the first time in my life. And so they were like, and I walked up to this room, and I was like, Lauren, Lauren's dressed up, and she's like, I'm I'm nervous about meeting the president. I've never met the president. I was like, I'm not. This is crazy. And so and I, lying is fun. <laughs> this so is so great. This, so and I'm looking at the guys like, are oh, do we have this? Are we? Is everything good? And um, they're a. Uh, they're, they're smiling at me like, see, see, see. And so we open the door and the door opens and it's just all the rose petals and it's all of this, all of the, uh, you know, and it's one table there. And she's like, where, where, and she's like, what, what's going on? What's going on? And, uh, where is the, where's the, where's the president? And, uh, she's looking at me like, where, where where's the president? I'm like, where, where is everybody? Because it's this big room. And I was like, I was like, well, there is no president here. I, I don't know. The, I don't know the president of Guatemala. He did not ask me to come here. And, um, the reason I'm asking, the reason I wanted you to be here, and uh, you know, and I got down on my knee and wow. asked her to marry me, and I, and I and I had um, learned it in Spanish. Oh, you that's, in awesome. Spanish? <laughs> that's awesome! Come on, <laughs> a little touch, and uh, and and she said, and she said yes, and it was like just a really fun surprise for her, that and is very epic. fun for me. So that's kind of what we. Did. That's that's that was the that was the thing. Epic! I love it so much. The president thing got me. I was like, that is like full <laughs> sin. That is like we are going. Like, this is such a joke to her. That, that's like full sin. All out. I didn't even think about the fact that you would get recognized in the airport and the kids would be like, oh, we're going. That's awesome. Because every time we go overseas, too, you know, there's so many youth groups are going. They're so excited. They're like, where y'all going? Where y'all going? So that. Yeah, and perhaps these youth groups are being a little bit more productive than you guys are. It's just so good. Oh, my gosh. Well, hey, look, I hope guys are listening to this. I know some of you are. If you're listening, if your girlfriend's sending you this, it's for a reason. You just need to up your game a little bit. Start thinking, learn, marry me in Spanish. Fake that you know the president. It's kind of hard to hear, but she said fake that you know the president. That's what she's encouraging young men to do. You know, wherever you can get her. But that, that's so good. Well, Chris, you have been um, such a joy to talk to. I know so many people are going to be inspired by who you are, uh, first and foremost, but also so much of the advice you gave on leading worship, uh, doing life, being just a humble friend. Uh, man, this is so good. So thanks for being on the Weather That's Good podcast. We appreciate you. And everybody, go listen to his new album that is out. You don't want to miss it. It's his 30th something, but it is so important. And uh, <laughs> you, you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. Chris, thank you so much. Thank you, Sadie. Honored to be here and honored to be with you. And I love what you're doing. Incredible, incredible what you're doing. So God bless you.